few days ago, I had fun with the number 1,234. If you take this number and uh, calculate its hexadecimal equivalent, it comes out to be 42, which I think sounds like 42, the fictional answer to life, the universe, and everything. But I thought I'd go ahead and do a number system clip. 1,234, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Uh, this place is 10 to the zero, which are the ones. This is 10 to the first, the tens. 10 squared, hundreds, 10 cubed, thousands. So this number consists of one unit of a thousand, two units of a hundred, three units of 10, which is 30, and four units of one, which is 4, and that's how we get the number 1,234. Keeping in mind that when we have a number raised to the zeroth power, it equals 1, just by definition. Now, if we come over to the number 42 in base 16, hexadecimal, well, the rightmost digit is in the 1s, 16 to the 0, 1s, the D is not in the tens, it's now in the sixteens, sixteen to the first power, sixteen. And the four is not sitting in the hundreds, instead it is sitting in the two hundred fifty-sixes. Sixteen squared is two hundred fifty-six. So forty-two, we have four units of two hundred fifty-six, which is a thousand twenty-four. We have 13 units of 16, which is 208, and we have 2 units of 1, which is 2, and when we add up these numbers, we get 1,234. In the hexadecimal number system, there's 16 digits, 0 through 9, but then they resort to using letters to represent the other digits. A would be 10, B is 11, in this case, the D is 13, so that's why we have 13 units of 16, which comes out to be 208. So, 1,234 in base 10 is equal to 42 in base 16.